How to Act Like a Gold from Stargate The gold are the alien race featured prominently in the SG series. Not in the movie, R.A. was something entirely different and the gods of ancient Egypt were simply his servants. But, what the hell, they all acted alike. Steps 1. The gold are megalomaniacs. They are self-serving, arrogant and a bit intimidating. They command people left and right, even when they are not in the position to be giving the orders. See the enemy within, Char, Charles Kowalski. 2. They believe others are below them, thus they are extremely arrogant. Be arrogant, but do not be a bastard. There is a difference. 3. Behaving like a gold is a lot about perception and presence. They are known for their elaborate clothing. Take a look at the clothing of people today if they go into battle. Tight, form-fitting, usually pants. The gold, even the male personality ones, wear things like long dresses and loose clothing. They don't fight using strength and hand-to-hand -hand combat because they have technology that allows them to PWN your face from afar. It's kind of ridiculous seeing that the symbiote gives the body increased strength and everything. 4. If you look at a gold like Apophis and the way they took SG, they had clothing that looked inspired by ancient Egypt, but took it a bit far and made it look more sci-fi than anything. They wore chain mail looking outfits showing no more than their hands and face. In the movie, Stargate, the guards wore shenty, sandals, a top, usually midriff bearing, and their totem masks. 5. Either style is fine, many prefer the look of the sci-fi, other die-hard fans of the movie will prefer the traditional look. In today's world, that's your choice. Many people are starting to get interested in the older style of things, so you may not look too alienated if you went the elaborate clothing style versus the war mode style. 6. If you look at the MMO that was in development, Stargate Worlds, you can decide how you would operate based on the three, the first two are the important ones here, gold play styles. 7. Servant Lord. This is the one that would wear the elaborate style clothing, relying mainly on their technology and troops to own their enemies. They'd be very commanding and intimidating, blasting people around with their hand device and ribboning everyone into submission. 8. Battle Lord. This is the style that you mostly see Apophis in when he goes off to another world or on a mission. This is the chainmail style that looks reminiscent of ancient Egyptian style, but updated for the sci-fi look. 9. Looking more in depth at it, you could say the characters from Unreal Championship were based on Stargate characters. They achieved the blend of sci-fi and ancient Egyptian culture very well. I think it was probably the colors and the fact they wore actual loincloths instead of a weird rigid shenty. 10. Acting like a gold is mainly about your presence and your look. Take an acting class to learn how to speak more fluidly and move in a controlled manner. Walk and talk slow as if the world needs to slow down and move at your pace. Learn to control conversations you enter into. Act mostly non-interested in other people and as if you have more important things to attend to. 11. However, this will probably lead to most people just thinking you are a jerk. Acting like a gold can lead you to be loved by many people because if done correctly, you can come off very strong and sure of yourself rather than a tyrant and rude bastard. 12. Gold do not take crap from anyone unless they think it will benefit them. Apophis was not above making Soker think he was all loyal and following of him. Therefore to be a gold you must be cunning and sneaky. Never let anyone in on your plans unless they have undying loyalty for you. Note, this cannot be a person who is of very high self-esteem or arrogant themselves, it may eventually lead into a battle of who is more powerful of the two of you, literally. Conceal your motives. 13. Gold would be rich. Money is power in today's world. Money can earn you the loyalty and respect of people because they follow the person with the most paper in their pockets. These are the flunkies that eat out of every rich person's palm. Get wealthy and then protect your wealth. Invest and build a literal empire. 14. Gold strength comes from their followers as well, battle lord or servant lord. So, do not neglect your followers. Gold mostly played on their claim to divinity and using their technology to look godlike. Unfortunately, this tech is not available to do that. 
so, do not treat your underlings like crap. That's why there are many revolts going along. Listen to your followers, do not allow them to get out of line, but listen to them. People will follow a reasonable ruler who is down there in the fray with them rather than a removed ruler who makes it appear as if they do not matter to them. 15. These are just a few guidelines, but to be taken as fun. Gold are not real and neither is Stargate. Behaving too strictly to this list may earn you a beating from people who don't like your attitude. Don't pick up behaviors that you can't back up. Tips The gold pride themselves on their appearance. Don't be afraid of a little metrosexuality. Warnings Avoid taking your behavior too far if you are afraid of alienation. People will dislike you for your behavior. This is basically a guide on how to act like are superior to everyone else. Things Nice clothing. Money. People. Wealth, not the same as money, wealth is more of resources than capital.